you know, it matches the vibe of the video. Maybe I've done enough In your golden child grew up Maybe this trophy isn't real love And with or without it I'm good Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Maddie May, and I go to the University of Tennessee studying narrative medicine on a pre-med track. So, um, follow along if you're new. Okay, so today's video is a little bit different than my standard ones. Um, mostly because this week has not been... The best i've kind of been in a funk really all february but i don't know i think despite my bright smile today uh yeah this week has just sucked and so i really wanted to kind of create a video today of like getting myself out of this funk and honestly i feel better already by just pressing record i love youtube and i love talking to you guys and creating videos so this is part of getting myself out of the funk is just turning on my camera but I don't know I like decided last night that I'm not gonna rack my brain to to think of anything creative to tell you guys to do I'm just gonna focus on doing things that I like and feeling good today so there's not gonna be anything crazy or new today um, but it's just gonna be me kind of doing what I can to feel good so so really quickly before I get started it definitely completely plays into today's video um today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa because I am an ambassador with them and I'm obsessed with their company they're so ethical and they want to have a completely carbon-free footprint by um, the end of 2021 I believe so this past month I really wanted to work with them in a different way I wanted to gift some of their pieces to my best friends. I lived in Florida until I was 18 and I just go to school in Tennessee and so all of my best friends live in Florida. And so what I wanted to do is send my three best friends matching um, friendship brace, I mean friendship necklaces. Annalisa was so nice to work with me and help me send all of my friends this beautiful piece. So I have their reactions on camera and I'll put those in in a second but one of the biggest things that I've noticed that gets me out of a bad headspace is volunteering, helping someone else, just like getting out of my own life, you know? Every Thursday, this little third grader reads aloud to me on Zoom. It counts as volunteering, but it's honestly become a highlight of my week, and I especially needed it this week. Just like doing things that don't have to do with you, or reaching out to a friend, or giving a gift to a friend, all of these things just really, really help pull you out of a negative headspace. And so I wanted to include Ana Luisa's partnership in this video today just to kind of make you guys smile as you watch my friends open these gifts. Then we'll get back to the video, but do things that will get you out of your own life and I promise you'll feel better. So let's watch those clips really quickly and then we'll get back to today. Okay. I hope this doesn't short out. Why would it short out? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Is one Are you in camera? Are you in the camera? Okay. Okay. Call, Call me, me before, before opening. opening. Well, how is she supposed to record? Does well, she want no, us to record? No, she said record it in the group. She said record it and then send it to her. Do we need to call her now? No. Okay. Is yeah, your pepper already in here? Yeah. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Dear Taya and Elise, even though Valentine's Day passed, I wanted to send you something that will remind you that you guys will always be my Valentines. I wanted us to have friendship necklaces, and so I chose this dainty piece that I felt would match all of our styles. Thanks for always being there for me, even from hundreds of miles away. Love you both so much, Emma. Aww. Let's see. Which one's yours and which one's mine? I think they're the same. Oh, those are so cute. 
Anna Louise is sponsored by Maddie May. Sassy or Beauty of Beast, whatever you call yourself these days. Thank you, Maddie. It's so cute. It is so cute. We love a good dainty yeah. necklace. We're into mean. dainties. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you. What do you have to say? Thank you. <laughs> okay. God. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Maddie. So cute. I love it. Thank you. So thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for making that happen with my friends and I love you, Jasmine, Elise, and Taya. So I will leave my um, link below and my code for 10% off at Anna Luisa. If you guys wanna do some shopping with them, maybe gift something to your mom, sister. And since guys can wear jewelry too, any of the men in your life, um, I'll leave all of that below. So that's kind of that kind of was my step one this week, is just like focusing on doing something every day that just doesn't relate to my life and that has made me feel better. Um, I really want to work out today, but I'm currently on a wait list and I don't think I'll get into the class. So I might go to my school gym and do some walking t later on today or tonight. But I want to work out today because that always makes me feel so good. Um, I just had a work meeting, which went great. I honestly love everyone on my team. I love everyone I work with. So we just talked about all the content we're going to be making for March. And so that was really good. And let me tell you, I have some bread in the oven, so let me go eat that bread really quick and I'll come back and tell you kind of what's been bogging me down. Okay, so I wanted to, I'm back. I just ate a little bit of food just in case I do get into that workout class. But um, I wanted to include a little clip of me sort of talking about what's been bogging me down. I just kind of want you guys to feel in the loop and I don't really like making my channel a negative space, but I just kind of want to talk about it. So let me just, it's like, it's kind of hard because I feel like a lot of people are assuming that any type of like deep stress or sadness I have right now is associated with medical school. Um, which of course getting an acceptance would make me over the moon and I would just be so happy um, to, to get an acceptance, but it really for some reason isn't stemming from that. Um, just because I think I fully and wholeheartedly know that whatever happens, I'm, it's gonna be fine and I'm gonna become a physician and if that takes one more year, then so be it. I'm like pretty darn okay with that idea. I think a lot of it's stemming from like graduating college and honestly being ready to graduate. I'm ready to start in a new city and I know that's inevitable because there's no medical schools in Knoxville, so I know that like whatever I do, it's not going to be in Knoxville. Um, I know there's DO schools, but there's no MD schools in Knoxville, so I just know that like this is most likely going to be my last time in this city. And while I love Knoxville, I'm just like so ready for a change. I'm ready to start in a new apartment. I'm ready to meet new people. I'm ready to have a new curriculum. I'm just ready for change and it just feels like it's there but just like just out of reach kind of. I totally, it totally slipped my mind that MCAT registration was opening back up so whatever day that was, like Tuesday or Wednesday, I had already had such a long day and then I found out that like most of the dates actually all of the dates in May were full because I wasn't ready at my computer right when registration opened so I had to text my mom and dad and ask for $320 to sign up for an exam really quickly so I got a spot in June and so that was just a stressful situation. You guys know that I've been struggling with ants that's why I'm sitting on my bed today because some for some reason I just feel safer up here. Um, I don't want to sit on the floor and I had an ant guy come but instead of like spraying them he put down a bait trap which just draws them to my room even more which i know is 
the long-term solution like this is the the solution you usually want to do is put a bait down so they take the bait back to their colony um, but that takes five to seven days so I'm gonna have five to seven days more of even more ants in my room so I just find myself like constantly looking down at the vent I'm sure you guys will see it in this clip um, because I'm just like looking at the ants and it's really just causing me stress because this is my space ants really don't gross me out okay they just make me feel like an unwelcomed visitor is in my room it's almost like a person being in your room that you just don't want in here you know and I'm asking them to leave and they won't leave so um, I know it kind of sounds silly but that has been a huge source of my stress it's just like trying to work at my desk and not being able to truly focus because my head is like jerking over the vent every five seconds to look for ants I had a physiology exam this week and I really have been needing to work on my senior project, my senior thesis that's causing me a lot of stress. So at the end of the day, I'm just really ready for change and I'm also just really bogged down by stress um, for just various reasons right now. Um, and I was like trying to think last night when I was thinking about making this video of like the good things and it's really sad but I could only think of two. <laughs> And one of them is that I've been uploading on YouTube consistently and the other one is that I've been working out consistently but everything else in my life just feels very blah right now and I know it's a little bit of seasonal affective disorder like you know um, uh, season based depression because February has been so so bleak and not sunny and that's finally taking a toll on me but yeah I love you guys YouTube is a source of happiness for me and um everything that you've seen in my videos thus far is definitely real but i think that this past week i've just all the things that were like kind of subconsciously stressing me out just came forward and i finally just let it all out and then plus the mcat stuff happened and then plus the ant thing is has been an issue so, so that's my my little update I'm going to consider what I want to do next. I'm checking the Orange Theory waitlist again. I really don't think I'll get in, but thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for listening to that update if you did, but I'll see you guys in a second. Bye! Okay, it's me again. Well, all of the clips are going to be me again, but um, I did not get into the class at 12, but I did get into one at 4.30, so... I'm happy that it's set in stone now that I'm working out later today. That's good. Um, for now, I think I'm going to just chill in my bed. Like I said earlier, I feel like so safe from the ants in my bed. Just because my bed's in like the corner of the room and they're over by the window. Which, by the way, the frustrating part of it is I have literally no food in my room. My room has been cleaned to a tea it doesn't even look like they're going anywhere they're just like wandering around and now that the bait is down they're definitely gonna come but um i really would love to not see any comments that tells me to clean my room because i promise there's no food around anyways i'm just gonna stay on my bed and watch some youtube i do have a class at 2 15. i always talk about how i watch youtube but i never really talk about who i like so i'm gonna put my favorite people to watch on the screen right now i'm gonna watch margot lee's new video i've been loving her new new york city content i also recently found this youtuber cam shalk she has 11.2 thousand and yesterday she had 10,000. so she's definitely growing really fast which is amazing but you can probably see i have like i've watched all her recent ones and then like I've just like binged a lot of her older videos, like all of these, um, because she was diagnosed with stage four Hodgkin's lymphoma and she's our age. Well, I don't know how old you guys are, but she's 21. And so I've been watching her whole cancer journey and her just like entire aura is just so amazing. Like cancer aside, she, we would definitely be friends. And so I've been loving watching her videos. But yeah, those are the YouTubers that I watch, and I've also been really liking um, the show called The Wilds 
on Amazon. I'd seen a few people talk about it until I finally just like started it last night. And I watched three episodes last night. It was, it's so good. There's my little recommendations for you guys. Um, but I'm just gonna chill here for a little bit because honestly, part of getting yourself out of a funk is just doing things that make you happy and relax you. And nothing's more relaxing to me than watching YouTube. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I did bring out the tripod today. Also, the tripod's on my bed, so if it shakes a little bit like that, lo siento. I feel like when you're in a funk, some of the best things to do is just to like either talk to someone or to talk to your journal. And so I want to journal today about how I've been feeling this week. I journaled a little bit on Tuesday when I could just feel it coming on, but now that it's the end of the week, I kind of just want to let everything out and really just brain dump. And so I think that this isn't anything new. Like I said earlier, I'm not coming out today with crazy creative ideas on how to get yourself out of a hard headspace, but there's a reason why journaling is on the list of every person who is depressed. <laughs> Um, and that's because it helps. So I'm gonna journal a little bit. I'm good Maybe so this is probably the worst quality because I'm on my MacBook from 2015. But I wanted to say that video diaries are also super, super helpful. My friend Francis like does this and it's, it's just a great idea if you don't like journaling or you think you're not quote unquote good at it. Um, sometimes it's good to just like literally be on your photo booth on your computer on your phone or something and just do a video diary and you can even delete it when you're done but it sometimes it feels good to just like get it out even if you're just talking to yourself so that's what I did here on this day so I wanted to give you guys that idea as well and now I need to join my film class so just still chilling but I think after I work out I'm gonna Maybe play some board games with my roommates. I don't know yet. We will see. But it's fun times. Hi, I have a glare on my camera. What's new? The glare is not gonna go away. But I am here working out. I am in such a good mood right now. I've had such a chill day and I just love the ju juxtaposition of how chill I've been today to going inside and working out so hard. I feel like really trying to have a good day is like honestly such a balance of doing absolutely nothing and then doing something that's like really hard to make you feel good. I don't know. After, I think I might get a smoothie because there's a smoothie place really close, I think. I definitely wanna to continue to watch that show tonight. We'll see, but I really do feel good. And I hope this inspires you guys to go get some go get some energy out you know go outside and walk or do something to feel good but let's go inside and work out all right you guys that was so good but i had a little bit of heartburn but um it's like not as bad as i remember it being like a couple weeks ago Whenever I have like saucy foods, I always have heartburn, which makes sense because there's a lot of acid in tomatoes. But anyways, um, I just got a smoothie, um, the athlete from Juice Bar. I also got a shot, like a juice shot with a lot of stuff. It had like literally nine ingredients. Um, but I'm not gonna do this right now. I might do it tomorrow. I don't know, I figured if I have a smoothie, do I really need to use my shot right now or do they go bad I don't know I think I'm gonna do it in the morning though. I just know that like hopefully even if this is like a super normal vlog I hope you guys leave it feeling a little better if you guys have like a, are having a bad day a bad week a bad month um, I know it's like hard, it's way way easier said than done but just like focus on the good and doing things that make you feel good um, loving on the people around you and loving on yourself just as much and hopefully you will get to feeling better. Also, nothing makes me happier than when my parents and my siblings send me pictures of the puppies. They're literally growing up so fast. Here they are on a, they're on a play date right now with their friend Burl's. And they were smaller than Burl's, 
like literally a week and a half ago like way smaller than him and now they're like the same size slash a little bit bigger than him and it's crazy Ozzy is a full-on man like he looks like a man like it is crazy I am obsessed with them and so just getting that picture put me in a good mood so love on your animals too and I finally see myself to the eyes of no one else. It's so exhausting on this silver screen. Where I play the role of anyone but me. Hello. I just played bananagrams with my roommates and I took a shower and I wanted to finish off my happy day um, by getting some of my favorite takeout. If any of you guys go to UT, this the um, place is called Sunspot and I love their tofu melt so I got that. Um, and I also absolutely, I also absolutely love their Brussels sprouts, but I was feeling french fries tonight. Um, but seriously, if you go to Sunspot because of this recommendation and get the tofu melt and the Brussels sprouts. Um, I usually, honestly, when I'm like feeling crappy, I usually like to cook for myself just because cooking new recipes is so fun and it's so relaxing to chop vegetables and just make something good for yourself. But I have no food. I need to go to, go to the grocery store, store tomorrow. Um, and obviously it's like eight o'clock, so it's too late for me to go to the grocery store and plan out a meal now. So I settled with my favorite takeout. Um, they gave me this bag and I'm, oh, the sauce is okay. I was like confused. But I'm gonna go home and eat this because I'm really hungry and edit this video as well. So I think I'm gonna stop it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Just following me along on a day that really was pretty typical, but I made small intentions to make it better um, in small ways. And I feel like that's one of the best ways to kind of get yourself out of a funk is do something that doesn't stress you out too much, but also will like kind of pull you out of it. So let me know if you guys liked this little vlog below. And don't forget to check out my code with Anna Luisa. Um, if you do any shopping, so I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye